and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I am your host, Jonathan Parkinson, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about Exposed Modular. Now, this is going to be for you Android users that are rooted. Um, what this is, is you're going to first need to go and open it up. Now, we'll have a link in the description on how to get it downloaded. And you'll need to then open up the framework, hit the install update, and then it should then uh, ask you to restart your device, which go ahead and get that done and then reopen up this application and then we can go ahead and begin. What that framework is doing is it's just actually installing some of the backend stuff. Uh, the backend stuff is what needs to be kind of tweaked in your actual Android system for you to have full access to. As you can see, there is a ridiculous amount of applications. Now these are all, I guess you can call them applications. Not all of them are technically apps, but there's some in here. Uh, let's go to the very, very bottom of this list since there's so many. And I know there's some down here that you might like. Uh, there's like your tube, uh, which you can change up like your YouTube, how it looks. Uh, just kind of scroll to some randoms and see what we got here. Uh, there's going to be, uh, what else do we got? WhatsApp mob, if you use WhatsApp. There's some mods for that. There's some Waze mods. I mean, there's literally anything you want is in here. Uh, there's even some specific devices. So if you have, let's say, a Samsung S Galaxy and you want to get some uh, certain modules for that, you can find that on here. If you're using a Nokia phone, you can do that as well. Uh, there's just there's really a lot of stuff you can work with this, and it's actually really, really nice for anybody that's into rooting. It truly brings out the most for your Android device. Now I'm going to go ahead and back up one screen. Now looking at the modules, here's some of the modules that I'm currently testing out. And you can see things such as uh, Android theme, um, dark tube, which makes the background everything kind of dark, uh, greenify, what greenify does is you can set it to where it's a true battery saver, a RAM saver. Uh, certain applications like to run in the background, greenify can be set up to where just a tap of a button, it will shut down everything running in the background, even though you might have clicked to swipe it it's still probably not closed fully down. It's kind of like a forced stop, where if you go into your applications menu uh, in the settings and then go up to forced stop, it's kind of like doing that. Uh, X Voice Plus, that's really good for anybody that is looking to make the Google Voice application uh, work, with, work across all your apps that are using messaging or calling. So my standard Hangouts, uh, Google Hangouts, my X Voice Plus actually pushes all my Google Voice messages straight to my Hangouts, and I can reply from there. It's actually really nice, really easy. Uh, exposed gel settings, that's really good for anybody that's using the uh, Google Now Launcher. Uh, that actually gives you a ton of features. You can change, you know, uh, hiding the search bar, uh, changing the icons. Um, doing guest gear control. It, there's a list of stuff on there. This is, you can get it for free and use that, uh, but there is a paid version with inside the application, just to let you know. But in another application, or sorry, in another video, I'll actually go ahead and get in there and uh, show you how that whole thing works. Uh, another thing that I would like to go into here and kind of talk about is these settings. Uh, when you look in the settings, you got to see kind of how everything works. The classical is what I'm probably going to recommend you stick with. Uh, with recovery, that's going to flash a zip automatically, and then, you know, you just want to stick with what the basic is, unless you know what you're doing. Um, enable downloads, this is going to check to see for updates, keep that checked, just like how your stores technically update your applications in the background, so that's going to do that for you. Now, if you are concerned about data usage, you might want to uncheck that. Um, and then you can go in here and actually see what type of versions you have in here. Now, of course, just like everything works, Stable Better X Stata, stable sorry about that stable beta and experimental uh, that could you know the, the higher you go down or sorry the lower you go down on this list the more chances you're going to run into kind of a problem so be careful with that then you have of course your theme in here which i like to do the black theme just easy black on white writing it works really well and that's pretty much it when it comes to exposed modules now it is part of the uh, XDA website, xda.com, which I, again, will have the link in the description how to get exactly to the area to talk about this, where the developers are. So if you do have any problems or questions, it might be smart to kind of check in there first. Uh, do read around first, though, inside that uh, area within XDA, because a lot of people do get angry. I just want to give you a heads up on that if you're kind of reposting a question that has been asked a million times. So do a little research first. There's a search bar where you can kind of ask your question in the search bar, and hopefully it'll guide you a little bit easier because there's tons of active users on XDA.com. Uh, 
Um, and that's pretty much it when it comes to exposed installer. Uh, it's probably, I would put this as number one for all rooted devices. Almost the second you get rooted, it, this is almost a must have. It's, if you were an Apple user, you understand Apple users, think of this as like Cydia. What, if, uh, if Cydia is still around, I'm not sure if it is. But when you jailbreak an Apple device, Cydia used to be the kind of go-to thing where you'd go in there and it'd give you just a list of options to, you know, completely mock up, create up, configure, do whatever you want with your device. But think of exposed installer Cydia on steroids because it's that much better as most Android devices. And that just comes naturally with it, the fact that it's being open source. Uh, again, if you do have any questions or comments or if the download links or any of that's not working in the description, you know you can leave it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. As always, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.